Hey Mabel, Black Label. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time we're visiting the one-of-a-kind antique mall again. I believe this is part six and it's the beginning of the first floor. As we see we've got some jewelry and showcases here and then we get into other collectibles. And this one primarily has um, toys as I remember whether there are videos of the discs the actual toys themselves or books and onwards we move to some vintage uh, interior decor and, and another booth on the first floor these uh, booths are not necessarily in the walking order because these do change on a regular basis. Here's some more. Um, this one includes some license plates, artwork, clocks, and we move on to yet another booth. This is fairly well a self-guiding video. Some have vintage furniture, glassware, ceramics, porcelain, old technology, typewriters, adding machines. So you, you can see there's quite a variety of things to come across. Here's a booth that has a significant amount of comics. Each one appears to be individually packaged, so you don't have to worry about touching it, nor the other people just going around touching it. LPs in this one, along with other collectible toys. And on we go, some more collectible toys. Oh, this is, might be the same booth with the LPs. A couple of large uh, tomato jars, I think. They look like cookie jars in some ways, which they could be used that way. Some vintage dresses. I'm not going to say disco because I don't know. Some more LPs there. Some crystal ceramics. Some purses, bags. Uh, glassware, there's some Hawaiian shirts, you'll see some stills of them in a moment. Take a quick look and that's part of the video. I'm not so sure I'd uh, be so, well, they're pretty low price, it's a George. Hawaiian shirt, sure, okay, it's a pattern. NFW hardware. 
more likely so um, this one had to do with chlorophyll um, not sure if that's the actual brand name or that was the cleaning instructions and the th there's the next one so they had a few in this one booth alone it's not the only booth in the whole building that has them but it, it's the only one in this video at this time a nice selection of artwork including a uh, panel divider another one with uh, vintage clothing besides other vintage artifacts all the way to toys children's books look like a, an old record player You see glances of some things, you get more detail in some others. Had to do with where folks were walking around. Wall art, that self-coloring. Now we're getting into the uh, live edge boards. This, this person's been here quite some time. I'm not sure if there's more than one person doing this stuff, but there's a significant amount of it in the uh, building. Rings, rings, rings. Other jewelry and collectibles and watches. If it's a if it's inside of a locked case, you just need to ask one of the staff members on the floor. They'll go and get a key and help you out with that. Uh, there are some toys in a locked cabinet, even. Collector cards, McQueen, Steve McQueen. This was up near the front where you enter, not at the cash, cash exit and access to the stairs, but the one with the power lift. And so there was, they've opened up a couple of rooms there for, um, for vendors as well. there some globes you'll find around some furniture now there's a Pepsi coin a sign that's I don't know how common they are so because I'm not a collector of those or I'd offer of an idea of whether it was a good deal or not purses again they show up every so often some other DVDs and so on books sometimes there's a sale on a particular booth that you'll see a sign uh, make sure that the item that you're picking although it may be found in the booth it may not be from that booth here's one that's all signs uh, whether he makes them himself or finds them or that's, that's you, for you to decide We get some china, glassware, some uh, stuffed bears were in there. That little glance of the hallway looked like it was the hallway that heads to the loading dock and to the cache. There's the Mabel's clock. Sewing machine cabinets. Some vintage Pyrex. Some more artwork and ceramics. An erector set. China sets. So 
you can get in either individuals or sets of of items depending on what's on offer here's another one that has a sale going on Sometimes they're handiwork. I don't know if that's a retro radio or if it's an authentic original. Here we've got some signage, some clothing, a little bit of this and that. Some folks specialize very carefully into one specific area and others have a, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Here's a whole collection of items in the glass case. Then you see some furniture, artwork, other uh, interesting items that are on the wall and on the furniture. That was one of the larger ones. Somebody's uh, document, but it had been folded at some point, but they still framed it. Continuing on, we've got another one. There are two more videos of the first floor to follow with this one. So keep your eyes open. They may be immediately following, they may not be. It varies. Depends on what other things are going on. I know this is one of the slightly longer ones. The next one is even longer, is my uh, estimate at this time. Now there's a rabbit. Some nice looking mugs. Some china sets. Here's some more china, might be ceramic sets. Collectible toys still in the box. And uh, some board games, furniture. A big drink Coca-Cola, an old fan, industrial commercial fan. Don't see them as often. Some purses with, uh, it might be Monroe and so on. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. We'd like to like it if you subscribe, give us a like, and maybe even a tinkle on the bell so you'll know when the next one's up. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.